Where's it? Maybe I can get them at. Easy. I think I'm gonna break if I freaking flip them in. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've been catching fish like a lot all day. So I had a little black hair jig on. I just lost it on like a, a bigger bass. Not crazy big, but I hooked, it was wild though. I hooked a little tiny bluegill about that big, about the two and a half, three inches. And then I threw it, I hooked it with this, threw it in there and a bigger bass ate it. It was awesome. <laughs> Try to let like pulling him up by the string, ten pound line, snap my line. Let's see if we can get some more. Here you go, and you missed it. I hooked a, a like a bluegill about three inches, and I hooked him on the back with this hook, like this, right? And I threw it by a big bass, and the bass was chasing it around. He was trying to get away, and the bigger bass he goes, Goo! just destroy, eats the whole thing. Huh? Can't hear you. Hold on, let me see. Dude, I should have thrown it to that catfish right there. Oh, those are warm mouths? Yeah. Those two right there. Boom. You got one? Yeah. I just right now. Oh, dang. There's warm right mouths here? Oh, look at that one right there. That bluegill. I'm going to try to get him. You guys are doing micro fishing. <laughs> now, when you're, when you're tired of catching tiny bass on regular tackle, so now you got a micro fish. Look at that guys, I got a freaking Mondo. I better not break off on these little guys. Can I show you this spot where... Look at that spot. Dude, this looks so good on the camera. Hey! There he comes. They're loving this hair jig, dude. <laughs> Julian! Look! You wanna touch it? Yeah. You wanna touch it? <laughs> Touch it. Ah. Oh, it's really cool. Go. You want to let him go? Put your th Here, grab him. Put your thumb inside his mouth and hold it like he's holding Here. Yeah. Here. There you go, then. <laughs> you got to catch him now, Julian, okay? I want to. Okay. I want to hear all about the fish story. <laughs> Get away from there. Dude, he inhaled it. smaller check it out guys
I keep having to retie because this line's so light. Check that out. Little war mouth. Thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's going for it. Got him. <laughs> so, what happened? Oh dang, dude, he just coughed up something big. This bass just coughed up something, but it, it, I don't know what it was. He's right there, look. Looks like a snake. What do you think, that white thing? What do you think that is? It's not a purge, damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And... Those ones almost wanted it. I know. You see him? No, I don't want it. Look, another... Four mouth guys. Every time I go for a bluegill, these guys come out and s steal it. Come on, dude. There we go. Look at the view, guys. Guys, I think it's like the first time I've ever caught this many fish on a crappie jig. A little tiny crappie jig on 10 pound test, ultralight rod. Micro fishing as I guess you would call it these days. It's not even fair anymore. Come on, baby. Get the net. Get the net. Mm. Whew. Boy. You see that out there, you guys? Right there is that bass that broke me off. I highly doubt she'll bite again. I guess so I'm gonna change this out. I think she's done her time all jacked up. I'm gonna put on a little, little something different. They're tearing up the hair jig. Let's see if what else they'll hit it. Yeah, guys, this is freaking cool. Earlier today, taught the kids how to tie some knots, taught them how to fish, taught them about the bass and how to handle them. They, they wanted to know why it was so slimy, and I was like, there's a good reason why. Because it's protective slime. I don't know if everybody knows that though. Slime is, protects them from bacteria, infections, and all that jazz. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. First time teaching that many kids too. There was like 
There's a bunch of them. Oh, this is right here. 